Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. So today we're gonna be making soya bean curry. So for this, you need some soya chunks in a bowl and one potato. Um, if you want, we're um, adding a potato in this recipe. So just add the soya chunks into a cooker, then pour in some water for it to boil. Then add the potatoes inside and some salt per taste. Just um, mix, mix, mix. Turn on the gas and then put the lid back on and take it out after two whistles and after two whistles you know that it's done so now we're gonna take it all out and here it is and just separate the potatoes and the soya chunks and after that's done let me just show you how squishy these um soya chunks are cool right so now they're ready now we're gonna start adding them um, powders so first you need to add some turmeric powder chili powder then some coriander powder cumin powder and some salt per taste and plus you also need some kasuri methi we're just gonna add it to the bowl like using your hands then some curd which you might know as yogurt plain yogurt so just add a whole load of that then some garam masala and then we're gonna mix 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 so just mix it up nicely so all the masala and the yogurt is even and once that's done it should look like this it's kind of like a marination for the soya chunks then we're gonna start peeling the potatoes and it comes out really softly because it's like boiled and done then in a pan you're gonna take take um two tablespoons of oil then some whole spices so you need all of these then we're just gonna dump it into the um pan there after that's done give it a mix 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 there we go and then you need some chopped onions so add chopped onions into the pan and give it a stir and once you're done with that we're gonna go ahead and just mix it up a little and you're gonna know it's ready after it's like a nice golden brown color we just have to do a little bit more stirring then we're done Now add some ginger and garlic paste, um, one teaspoon, and just give it a good mix. Okay, once that's done, we're just going to go ahead and add some chili powder, turmeric powder, curry powder, and then just mix it up again. All right, now that's done, we're gonna go ahead and start adding some hot water. We just need this much and we're gonna mix, mix, mix. Okay, now that's done. Just gonna spread it out and just watch it bubble. Now we're gonna add some chopped tomatoes. Juicy, just mix it up. Mm, it looks really good and it's not even cooked guys okay so now that's done we're just gonna put the lid on and i'm gonna put the lid on for like one to two minutes okay now that is done as you can see we're gonna give it a good mix and yeah that's it for the little masala bit and now we're gonna go ahead and add the peeled potatoes. All right, just mix it up guys until the potatoes are fully covered. All right, so guys, we've done that. And now we're gonna go and just wait for a bit. All right, now comes in the marinated soya chunks, the main bit. So we're just gonna add the soya chunks in, in the pan and we're gonna give it a good mix. 
so the masala and the soya chunks just get mixed really good together you can cut up some potatoes if you are adding potatoes so they're a bit smaller because some of them might be a bit big then we put on the lid and we're just gonna take it off and we're gonna add some salt per taste obviously then a bit of sugar and if you're wondering why you need the sugar, it's to like balance out all the masalas. And now you just have to cook it till all the curd, um, which is yogurt, is cooked. And you will know when it's done because the oil will release itself. Alright, so now as you can see, the oil has released. Now we're just going to mix it and it's done. And now we're going to start adding the water for the gravy. So we're just going to add water, not so that the soya chunks and potatoes drown, just like a bit so you can see them. Alright, now we're going to put the lid back on in a sec. Do you guys see how juicy it looks? Mmm, yummy. I can't wait till it's done. Alright, so now we've done that, we're just going to put the lid back on. Alright, so after some time... Um, we came to check it and it looks like this and it looks delicious so it's done you can see the oil coming out and it looks really good we're just gonna add some coriander mm. and guys do you like the um, end result it looks delicious doesn't it now we're gonna um, plate it so you can enjoy this with um, rice or roti which is also known as chapati so yeah guys, um, this was the end result. Um, try it out and tell us what you think in the comments below. I'll see you later. Bye!